On today's The Doctor Is In, is an aspirin a day really the right thing for you? It is not an easy decision, and you should know all the risks and benefits before considering daily aspirin therapy. Dr. Scott Ackerman is one of the first co's leading doctor, and he's here today to review whether a daily regimen is right for you. Welcome, Dr. Ackerman. Thank you, Nick. I feel I ha I've been left out of these for a while now. So Welcome I'm, to I the conversation. I'm happy to be involved <laughs> in this. Everybody's going to include you with us. I, <laughs> thank you, because actually, my doctor has recently told me I should start taking aspirin every day. What are the benefits? to taking an aspirin every day. Well, that's good advice that you got from your physician. I'm glad you're, he's talking to you and you're having this conversation. You know, a lot of people don't have this conversation. And you should. Everyone should have a conversation with their physician about supplements and aspirin and all those sorts of things. The aspirin has lots of benefits. We know about the heart health benefits of aspirin. Aspirin is given to people who have had heart attacks, who have had strokes, to help prevent them from having a second heart attack or prevent them from having a stroke. And what it does, it thins the blood a bit to help prevent these clot, a clot from forming, a clot from blocking a coronary artery, or a clot from going to the brain to cause a stroke. But also we have found that aspirin prevents cancer. And um, you may ask how, and so let me tell you uh, uh, briefly how. We looked at a large trial in England at Oxford. There was a large trial of thousands of people that they put on aspirin to prevent heart disease. So these are people that had a heart attack or had some sort of heart disease, and they were given aspirin, aspirin rather, to prevent a second heart attack. And they looked at these people compared to a case control population of people that didn't have, that weren't taking aspirin. And they found, although they weren't looking for this, they found that after three years, the group that was taking aspirin every day had a 25% less risk of developing cancer. So their cancer risk dropped by 25%. That's amazing. It's a huge That's number. Huge. There's no other thing that we know of that can diminish the risk of getting cancer by by that much. But by that much, we we know that aspirin is linked to preventing colon cancer, melanomas, gastric cancers, ovarian cancers, lung cancers. So it's not something that's that is a uh, organ site specific. It just has a general effect of minimizing your risk from can from cancer. And also, we have seen in people that have cancer or had cancer, that if, when they take aspirin, there's some studies that have shown that those people that take aspirin after being di diagnosed with cancer have a lower risk of the cancer spreading to other parts of the body. So why is it, what is it about aspirin that makes it prevent cancer to that extent? Is it the anti-inflammatory well, aspect we, of it? When we take aspirin, aspirin, we all take it for headaches, right? Yeah. Or pain, mm -hmm. or, a bruise, you know, you strain something, you take aspirin. And that's because aspirin has this anti-inflammatory effect. Mm -hmm. the, the blood vessels in the brain get inflamed and, and that's how you have a headache and the aspirin reduces that inflammation. Uh, and we also know, separate, that there's a connection between inflammation and, and cancer. That two areas of the body that get constantly um, assaulted with inflammation of some sort become cancerous more easily. For instance, patients with inflammatory bowel disease have a higher risk of colon cancer. And so perhaps it's this anti-inflammatory property of aspirin that uh, prevents cancers. And that would be the only explanation, or that would be an easy explanation for the fact that it minimizes the risk of all different types of cancer because it reduces inflammation all over the body. It, it would then um, uh, theoretically, logically, be able to affect in a good way all kinds of cancers. Now, with a lot of things like ibuprofens and different things, you know, if you take Tylenol or any of those things, you always hear, you know, it affects the liver, you can't do it for prolonged use, or affects the kidneys. What is, are there any side effects or anything with long, uh, prolonged use of aspirin? Well, aspirin is a pretty safe drug. Uh, and we, again, we know this because of over 100 years of aspirin use, but there are people that have sensitivities to aspirin. Uh, the, a good number of people get a stomach upset. They get what we call gastritis. That's inflammation of the stomach. And when they get inflammation in the stomach, they may get some nausea. They could develop a bleeding in the stomach, a bleeding ulcer. They could get some abdominal cramping. Uh, less frequently, <clears throat> people get some allergic reactions to aspirin. They can get rashes, that sort of thing. But these are pretty uncommon, but most people who have an aspirin sensitivity know it. And what are your recommendations then for, I mean, even people in their 30s or 40s, I mean, should they be taking an aspirin, one a day, two a day? I mean, what, what do you think is best for people who are well, watching? You've heard that the baby aspirin is good to minimize the chance of getting uh, heart disease, and you see that advertised a lot. But the truth is that one aspirin, two aspirin a day are, are effective as well, and perhaps more effective. And two aspirin, my, my recommendation is that if you can tolerate aspirin, take two aspirin a day. Wow. That'll help reduce your risk of heart attack and stroke and also help prevent cancers. 
But again, as I've said before, discuss this with your doctor. Uh, talk about the risks and benefits of, uh, of, of taking any supplements or aspirin. Okay. Right. Well, thank you, Dr. Ackerman. Thank you. Good, good, good info. advice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was more than my doctor told me, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad takes Better. one aspirin. I'm going to go tell him that he needs to take two. He's a physician, too, so I'm making sure he takes, t takes okay. two. Okay, and thank you so much for coming on. We always appreciate that. And Dr. Ackerman yeah, comes on uh, every Friday. And for questions regarding today's topic or any other health questions that you might have, just visit firstcoastoncology.com. You can confidentially submit your questions, whatever they may be, aspirin or anything of the sort, to ask the doctor.